Hey everybody, today in this video, I want to talk about Tommy motherfucking Loran. I will leave a link in the description below of my old video I made about her a while back. It's called Tommy Loran, the Angry Blonde Snowflake. So those of you who don't know who Tommy Loran is, I'm going to give you a little background. She is from rabbit city south dakota which is nothing but white people as you can see in this picture it's only a little percent of black people so i'm guessing it's like 700 black people overall where she used to be that's crazy that explains her bigotry but anyways um she currently stays now in texas i forgot what part of texas but it's texas um i would that's funny because i was raised in texas as well <clears throat> but I'm originally from North Carolina. Um, she was raised in a military family. That explains her passion for the military, as you can see. And she attends Central High School. She is a she is of German descent. Lorraine introduced herself as a Republican. Hmm, typical. Congresswoman service in the first intern for Rabbit City office. She is a Trump supporter. Hmm. That explains her bigotry. Anyway, she's been known for hosting Tommy on the Blaze. Final thoughts. Tommy Lorraine was suspended for the blaze from the blaze in March 2016 17 shortly after she presented her beliefs that women should have legal access to abortion she was on the interview um on the view and because that she said that she believed that women should have access to choose to do abortions or not and she was claiming she was pro-choice which just shows her hypocrisy because she was so against pro-choice people but now she claims she was pro-choice when she got on the show The View, which is funny. So that's why she got fired. And they fired her permanently. And um, now, but, so that means, you know, Tommy ain't got no job, basically. <laughs> you ain't got no job, Tommy. <laughs> but anyways, let me stop messing. Okay. Um, but anyways, currently she is hired now at Fox News she's a correspondent so she will primarily be a contributor for a Sean Hamilton show though she will also be involved in work on dental products development so she will be doing a lot of online stuff basically so we will see how that goes if the bitch don't get fired again but anyways, also she said in an interview, just to give you an idea what kind of person Tommy Lauren is, in case you've never been familiar with this bitch, um, in a Playboy interview earlier this year, her most important goal was to make white people less afraid of offending black people. Hmm. Shaking my motherfucking head. But tell me, when has white people been afraid to offend black people? Please tell me, when has they been afraid? Because I... I never knew white people to be afraid to speak out um, and defend black people when they've been doing this for 400 years. So anyways, and especially how they use the media and how they use the news to portray black people, how we are um, as they view us as thugs, criminals and hood rats. And so that's what I'm saying. When has white people been afraid to speak out and to offend black people? That's crazy as hell. We don't need, they don't need you. They have Trump. That's what Trump is for. But anyways, um, everything that comes out this bitch mouth is always black people. It's black, 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 black. Every time it comes out her motherfucking mouth, she sounds like a racist, bigotry ass bitch. What she need to do is suck a big black dick. She always contradict herself so many times, especially in the past. She's very uneducated and she's delusional and aware of her people's history. And she's definitely soaking in white privilege. She does not understand police brutality and she does not understand discrimination that black people face daily. Because like I said over and over again these past few videos that white people, they don't understand what black people face daily because they are not going through the same thing we are. But they shall do love to voice their opinion and speak on a situation that they don't experience every day like black people do. Okay, she don't see how black people deal with systematic racism. Um, she just criticized black people. Any black person that comes out and speak about injustice or 
or in, in, in quality with our race, she criticized the hell out of them. Um, especially black celebrities like Jesse Williams, Beyonce, and Colin Kaepernick, especially Colin Kaepernick. When he chose one day to take a knee during the national anthem, he was trying to bring awareness. Um, he was going against police brutality on black people that's being killed unarmed and not getting justice. That was his purpose. And this bitch, she criticized the hell out of Colin Kaepernick all the time. She puts him down. Um, she's a typical liberal, liberal white racist bitch. Um, she's all for the flag. She's all for the national anthem. She's patriotism, basically. She claims she's so patriotic. And, you know, it's crazy as hell. She always puts Kaepernick down and saying, like, you know, disrespecting the troops. All that bullshit the typical white people be saying about, um, you know, why he's disrespecting the flag, basically. Um, and she she is so ride or die, die hard American flag. As you can see in her pictures, she rocks the American flag. She wears it. Um, she's just a typical white liberal patri patriotic bitch. And what I find also very, very funny is that this bitch is wearing the American flag print. And didn't it say in the flag codes you should not wear it as a print? Hmm, I thought it said that. So she's a very, very hypocrite and ass bitch for wearing the print of the flag. Um, but anyways, here's a picture of her um, on her t-shirt. It reads, um, I don't kneel, something like that. And then under the picture, it has a long ass paragraph, a story. And it reads, we stand for the national anthem and salute the flag out of respect for those who have fought, died, and sacrificed so we can live and flourish in the greatest nation of the face of the earth it's not just a cloth and a song these symbols are an internal reminder of how blessed we are to be americans remember millions of people who would die to be in our shoes roger goodell you disgust me it's amazing you stand behind those whiny kneelers mm -mm -mm. but deny the dallas cowboys request to wear a deep call in honor of slain these officers your true colors are showing under god under the american flag we are not white black or brown we are red white and blue congrats colin kaepernick you made hatred of America, the new celebrity fed. George Soren is proud, respect, love, honor of the country. Isn't a white thing or a conservative thing or a Trump support thing. It's an American thing. It's a reminder of military families who lost their loved ones. The fellow American recognized, remember those sacrifices. That's why we stand. And this is this bitch quote, a typical liberal quote basically and like i said in my past few videos about this motherfucking materialistic idol of a cloth which it is a cloth bitch stop saying it's more than just a cloth it's not just a cloth it is a cloth y'all worship and praise a cloth like i said these white people they claim that they are christians and in the Bible, it's God says in the Ten Commandments that we should not worship any false idols or any other gods. And that's what I'm saying. They love to put God under um, the flag and under, um, you know, America. They love to put God with the flag. And it's crazy. It's like you can't praise two gods. You either praising God or you praising the flag. Which one are y'all fucking doing? These motherfuckers are trying to put God with the flag. They're putting a materialistic idol with god and they think god as approves of this and they think god loves this country they think god loves america and when he clearly doesn't because america is basically what he was talking about right. relations he was talking about america and how he's going to come back and put this bitch in flames because america is fucking wicked you think god is going to respect a country that enslaved his people you think God is going to respect a country like that and still mistreating his people? Get the fuck out of here, bitch. 
Like I said over and over again, that flag does not represent black people whatsoever. We were still slaves. We did not have equal rights. We was not even citizens. We was um, considered as property. Okay, so how can the flag represent black people whatsoever when it never represent us? It only represent white people in their patriot patriotic ism and their um racism. That's all America was based off of. They America was based off of racism. And it was only made for white people. It was never made for black people. It was never made for us. Because if it was made for us, we would have equal rights and equality. And that's what I'm saying. This bitch, she loves to bring up the troops and is disrespecting the troops and all that bullshit. And Kaepernick said over and over again, he's not disrespecting the troops. He's trying to bring awareness to an issue that black people face in America. He's trying to point that out. They claim that we got equal rights. Is, um, we have freedom of speech. And we got this and we got that. This is a free country. We're blessed. We ought to be grateful. But how come one half black man can't get on one knee in a peaceful protest if we're so free how come he can't do that peacefully that's what i'm saying either way it go this bitch criticized black people how they protest if they riot she has a problem with it if they do it peaceful and get on one knee she has a problem with it and it's crazy she was like oh i respect it and everything i just don't um like how they're doing it and how they're disrespecting the flag and i'm gonna quote trevor like he said to her in the interview which i'm gonna show y'all um in this video i will show clips of her videos of, of her being a dumbass typical blonde I will show y'all clips of her, how stupid she is, but that'll be in a little bit. But anyways, like Trevor said to her, then what way do y'all want us to protest? How should black people should protest? If we can't protest taking a knee, if we can't protest being violent, then how the hell do you expect black people to protest? And she didn't say, she never answered the question. She didn't know what to say. So that's what I'm saying. Either way it go, no matter how black people protest, we still going to get criticized for it. We're still going to get criticized for it no matter what we do. So that's what I'm saying. Kaepernick just chose to do it this way to bring awareness. But it's offensive to crackers. It's offensive. They're more offensive about him getting on one knee than the actual problem and the actual cause. And this is typical white supremacy. They never talk about the problem. They never talk about the issue. It's crazy. They never talk about the issue, the racism. They use things to justify their racism. It's funny as hell. But anyways, like I said, and she needs to take a look at the racist ass lyrics. Um, the Star Spangled Banner by Francis Scott Key. She needs to look up the lyrics to that because that shit is racist as hell. Talking about slaves and shit like that. That shit is racist as fuck. And that's what they're not understanding. And that's what they're um america is based off of racism and that's that's what i'm saying she's very very delusional and uneducated to her people's history she thinks everybody is equal just like a typical white person but all black people we don't have the same advantages as white people they think just because these football players make money they think that oh um they have equality they think because we had a first black president which is half black not full black they think we have equality but no it's not that don't mean it's not racist people that walk this earth and that don't mean that we are still not oppressed by the system the systematic racism it's crazy that's what they're not understanding we are oppressed by the system we don't have to blatantly be in chains and that's what they're thinking or actually going through segregation and Jim Crow. We don't have to actually go through them things. We is kind of in segregation though, especially with our communities. But yeah, there are a few black people that made it, props to them. But they still face discrimination. For example, LeBron James, how his house vandalized with a racial slur. So that's what I'm saying. They think just because these football players got privilege of having wealth, they think that they're not facing racism and stuff like that. They don't have equality. I mean, that they have equality because they make money. That don't mean shit because a lot of celebrities came out and said they still face racism with a lot of money, like going to these luxury stores and they thinking that the celebrity can't afford it because they're black. 
That's what I'm saying. They don't go through shit like this like we do. They don't get pulled over because the color of their skin or because they're driving a nice car. They send a black person stole it or sell drugs. They don't have to go through that. Black people, we go through that. They don't have to be stopped and monitored or followed in a store because of the color of their skin. They don't have to go through that. They have white privilege. And that's why she's not understanding. And she's soaked into it. And, and her white privilege is blinding her to see how we are really facing discrimination and systematic racism. But anyways... um. Like I said, America, they never really had a reason to fight whatsoever. They stole this land that they live on. They stole this from the Indians. They manipulate the Indians like they fuck with them. And they gave them blankets and, and injected with smallpox. And it killed off their race. And on top of that, they slaughtered them. And raping their women and their children. They literally killed off their whole race. And then they got nerd to act like Christopher Columbus was the one that the first to discover America. And then have a nerd to have a holiday after that. Thanksgiving, which is this month coming up. It's crazy. And then they have a nerd to have a racist ass team called the Redskins. That racist ass shit. And then they give the Indians dirty ass water where they stayed at. They they let them have dirty ass water. And then when they were trying to offend themselves and fight back, they sprayed them with water hoses. Hmm, sound familiar like they did the niggas back in the day. And that's what I'm saying. On top of that, they whitewash history teaching our black children lies in school. They only teach the, the black children about their white history and slavery. They don't teach the black children who they really were. And their real history. They only teach them American history. It's crazy as hell. Then they kidnapped black people. They kidnapped Africans from their homeland. And oh, took them away from their culture, heritage, language. And brought them over here into America to build their shit. Because they was too lazy to build it them themselves. They want us to build what the fuck they stole. Basically. And they have another. To tell black people we're lazy once we stop working for free. Get the fuck up out of here, bitch. And then on top of that, raping the hell out of black women, making more black women slaves. And then what a lot of people don't know, they didn't teach us in school. They also raped the black men. It's crazy as hell. They raped the black men in front of their children and in front of their wives for humiliation. And they used to take black babies, they used to kidnap black babies, tie a rope around their neck, and throw it out, and use them for alligator bait. They mainly did this in Louisiana. That's crazy, see, but they don't tell shit like that. They don't tell the real savagery they actually did to black people in history. They only say that they had slave masters and they whipped them. That's basically it. And it was picking cotton. They didn't go into full detail to what they actually did to our people. They're trying to clean up history. They're trying to clean it up and make it seem like it wasn't that bad. And that's why at least to them, oh, it was years ago. It's the past. It's a long time ago. But anything happened to their race, it's never forgotten. And they got holidays for their shit. But we got to forget about our race. We only get one motherfucking month. What is a month going to do compared to what my people been through for 400 years? Get the fuck out of here. They hung black people and burned black people alive. And then they made a law called Jim Crow and segregation. And then they created the paper bag bullshit. And then they um, destroyed wealthy black neighborhoods called black, black Wall Street. That's a prime example. By race riots. But when black people have riots, they have a problem with that. But they've been doing this to our race for years and years in our communities. And then they put us in ghettos. And then they put drug liquors and guns in the black communities. And then label us as thugs and criminals and hood rats. But they're the ones that caused the situation. And they was the first thugs and criminals and hood rats. They were the first ones. With the mafia and all that bullshit. They was the first th drugs and criminals. But they put it in the black communities. To place the blame on the black communities. That's crazy as hell. And on top of that. They made a system to oppress our people. The systematic racism. 
and then they made a system where they can have privilege and they can only get loans. Black people, it's hard for us to get loans. We can't get loans. And it's hard for us to get hired because we don't fit that European beauty standard. We got to straighten our hair and do all this other bullshit to get hired because they feel uncomfortable with our natural hair. This is the shit we have to deal with. We still and we still not getting reparation from what all our people has done. This country was built on the backs of slaves with blood, sweat and tears. And we still not getting ration for what our people has went through and done for this country. We don't even get acknowledged. But they had to set us free. Let's face it, they had to set us free. It would have just been rich and poor white people. It wouldn't have been no middle class white people. For Kaepernick to get on one knee and have a peaceful protest. That's what they fought for. That's what they fought for. This is supposed to be the land of the free. So why can't a half black brother get on one knee to bring awareness to police brutality on black people that's unarmed and not getting justice? Why is that a problem? If we so if we such if we have equality and if we get got the same advantages as white people and if we not oppressed, then why the fuck we can't do what the fuck we want to do when it comes down to protesting? That's crazy. You got black soldiers fighting for something that they cannot get. They cannot get free rights or freedom of speech or uh, free will to protest because they would get criticized and demonized for it. But you can have these Charlottesville motherfuckers with these tiki torches and stuff like that. But the bitch, she barely said anything about that. She just said it was wrong. That's it. But and then she brought up Black Lives Matter. Once again, typical white people, what they do, they bring up what black people has done to justify their racism. That's crazy as hell. But it's still nothing compared to what the fuck they have done in history. And then she have a nurse say people dying to be in this country. Yeah, and people are also dying in this country because of the color of their skin. And they're not getting justice. America has so much blood on their motherfucking hands. They are motherfucking bullies. That's all America is. They go in other countries. They kill people and bomb up people. And they steal people natural resources. Like Africa. Africa is breastfeeding the hell out of America and they don't want to get they don't want to say much about that but um, Africa is without Africa it would not be America I'm gonna tell you that right now we're be- our country is breast our well it's not a country our continent is breastfeeding America and now they run it out of resources because they dumbasses don't know how to replace it or don't want to replace it because they're too damn lazy And we're going to end up with nothing and looking stupid. That's in their blood. That's in their DNA. The heathens, like God said. And then this bitch have a nerve to say that congrats to Kaepernick. Um, he had brought hatred in America. How the fuck did he brought hatred in America for standing for what his opinion is, what he think is right? Bitch, get the fuck up out of here. You don't know what the fuck hatred is. That's what I'm saying. She's so simple-minded on her history. America was built off hatred. America was built off racism. So by him standing his ground doing what he believe is right, that's hatred. Bitch, get the fuck up out of here. If anything, you have hatred, bitch. Making these ratchet-ass videos. Thinking you're right. When you don't have facts behind anything, you don't do your research and you're going to voice your opinion on something you don't experience. That's crazy as hell. That's what I'm saying. It's typical white supremacy. They're using this blonde bitch as a distraction. And to me, they are lowering their standards and their IQs by using this dumbass bitch. Like, seriously? Out of all people, y'all chose this bitch that don't really know shit about history. The face of white supremacy. Get the fuck up out of here. Y'all could have done better than this. Come on now. But like I said, they this is what white supremacy do. They use dumbass bitches like her to start the vision. This is what they do. It's crazy. 
But yeah, this is what they do. They use dumbass b- bitches like this. This Nazi Barbie. I call her a Nazi motherfucking Barbie. Build a Barbie bitch. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to play an audio of her and Charlemagne talking. Um, and let y'all hear this dumb bitch bigotry. But anyways, um, I have posted this video, to be honest, already. But they had took down the video because it was copyright. So because of that, I had to just put the audio. So I can't provide y'all the actual video because of copyright. But anyways, I'm going to play the video and here we go. That's what I took issue with. It's not even her, her music video. It's not her lyrics. It's that sentiment that was made at the Super Bowl that really got under my skin. Well, I think you're very misinformed about the Black Panthers as well. I mean, if you look at who the Black Panthers were founded by, they were founded by Huey P. Newton and Bobby Seale. Huey P. Newton had a PhD from the University of California. Bobby Seale, he studied engineering and politics in college. They were created to resist police brutality and the killings of blacks. Okay, they used violence if necessary. They didn't even carry guns unless authorized in a matter of self-defense. They wasn't looking for violence at all, but were willing to get violent if that's what it came to. I even saw something, uh, and I, I could be wrong, but I thought you kind of likened them to the KKK. I'm, what I'm saying is if I were to have a Super Bowl performance that was saluting the KKK, I would never do that. I think that that's wrong. But, but, and I'm never KKK. saying that it is okay. I'm not saying pre- police brutality is okay. What I'm saying is on a day where you're supposed to unite the country, where white fans and black fans join together, and you have a Super Bowl performance that uh, basically gives a metaphorical middle finger to half the audience saying that it's us against them, and you salute Malcolm X, you salute the Black Panthers, that is that's a group not, that yeah. has roots in violence. And I'm not okay with that at the Super Bowl. They don't, they, 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 they don't have roots in violence. The KKK has roots in violence. The KKK was a hate group. Sure, but are you telling me? Are you telling me the Black Panthers were not violent? At all. No, they, they use violence if necessary. They didn't even carry guns unless authorized in a matter of self-defense. They were not looking for violence. Their main job was the police. The police. The Black Panthers gave away free breakfast. They had a 10-point program where they were just asking for the basic American rights. That's it. They wanted full-time employment. They didn't want to be brutalized by the police. They wanted to be judged by a jury of their peers. They were not violent people. Let me ask you this question. The KKK was a, was a hate group that killed thousands of black men, women, and children over the years just for being black just for being black no other reason who have the black panthers killed just for being white they they went after police officers there are several instances where the black panthers that's the reason the fbi shut them down is because they were targeting white police officers and i'm not saying that everything that they did was wrong i'm sure they did provide some services that were necessary the problem is i don't believe in saluting a group if you want to salute martin luther king like i said on tmz go for it i'm all for that beyonce saluting martin luther king all for it saluting the black panthers i take issue with Martin Luther King Jr. was not the only black activist out there. And once again, the Black Panthers did not target white police officers. The Black Panthers did not go around saying, hey, let's kill all white cops. That's not what they did. They policed the police, meaning if they saw something like what happened with Sandra Bland going down, where this guy was just pulling Sandra Bland out the car, threw her to the ground, they would intervene with that. If they saw something like Eric Garner getting choked out, they would intervene with that. They weren't just going around targeting white police officers. And for you to spew that rhetoric is dangerous. And I'm going to tell you what else was dangerous. When you said that Jay-Z was a drug dealer for 15 years. I don't know. As you can see, you can see how delusional this bitch is. Like I was saying earlier, how uneducated and how delusional she is to history. Everything that Charlemagne said was facts, pure facts about the Black Panthers. Also to add on, um, the Black Panthers party launched a free breakfast for children programs. So... <clears throat> and also, um, they have also started the WIC program. As you can see, WIC, it stands for Women, Infant, and Children. That's what it stands for. Okay, in this slide, it reads Women, Infants, and Children. Um, WIC is the Federal Assistant Program of Food and Nurturing Service of the United States Department of Argued culture for healthcare, n- nurturing, 
of low income pregnant women, breastfeeding women and infants and children under the age of five. The mission to be a partner with other servers are the key of children, family and and in this picture, it says that the definition of the program that basically tries to provide instant insistence to help children, they nurturized. The program is incredibly important and still runs today. It started somewhere in the late 60s to the 70s, a meme has been circulating starting that this was started by the Black Panther Party. However, some places are consisting this, but there is some evidence to substantiate this claim. And in this slide, it basically was saying what Charlemagne was saying. Basically, it started by um, Huey Newton and um, Bobby Seal, basically. And um the group, it basically stand for um, police brutality. That was against police brutality. And they basically, they patrol the black neighborhoods and they protect the black neighborhoods. Like Charlemagne said, if anything happened, like what um, Trayvon Martin or um, Sandra Bland or any of the other ones that I didn't mention that died, um, they will handle that if they see a situation like that. They would have jump in and they would have handled that, which I wish, you know, the group can come back, but it can't. And on the bottom of the paragraph, that's what I really wanted to point out with this one. Um, this basically had Duke and what she was trying to say that the Black Panthers was violent. It reads, this attempt to shift the direction of the party did not prevent further external attacks and internal conflict and the party continued to decline as a political force so that's what i'm saying all that bitch and she was saying that oh the black panthers were violent no clearly right here it states that the black panthers was not violent whatsoever so this bitch is lying and she don't know what the hell she's talking about once again she don't know what she's talking about. She really needs to do research because like Charlemagne said, everything that came out her mouth, it is dangerous because she's speaking these false claims to her viewers, to her viewers. And that's what I'm saying. And like people watching her um, stuff and they're going to believe this bitch and believe she is right. And she's not right because she don't look at facts. But anyway, so in the next, I'm going to play another clip and it's going to be with her and Trevor. Um, he had also Duke and her as well. Um, so I'm about to play the audio. Here we go. But Black Lives Matter has never said go out and shoot people. I'm saying you're saying this to your audience and I honestly do not understand where you're getting that from. Just because a person, what if somebody says I felt emboldened by Tommy Lahren and so I went out and I shot black people. Are you now responsible? You might not recognize the name Tommy Lahren, but there's a good chance you do recognize the face. Lahren has steadily become more popular as an incendiary voice on The Blaze, Glenn Beck's conservative media platform. Lahren, who has routinely criticized San Francisco 49ers quarterback Colin Kaepernick's protest of the national anthem, called protesters of President-elect Donald Trump misfit babies, and compared Black Lives Matter to the Ku Klux Klan, stepped into, as she described it, the lion's den that is The Daily Show with Trevor Noah, and found herself confronted by the host over her comments. Why are you so angry? I'm actually not that angry. It's just there's things that need to be said, Trevor, and a lot of people are afraid to in say a, them. In an angry way. I mean, you can't say you're not angry, and I mean, this is this is what you're known for. It's a strange thing to say, I'm not angry, but that is the one thing. It's like Ellen saying, I don't like dancing. It's like, yeah, you do, Ellen. You do. <laughs> you, you, you are angry about everything, it seems. Laren has been viewed as expressing racist thoughts. She explained to Noah that she does not view herself as racist. I mean, I've never used racial slurs to address people. I've never looked down on someone because of their skin color. To me, true diversity is diversity of thought, not diversity of color. I don't see color. I go after Hillary Clinton and she's white as they come. You don't, you don't see color. So what do you do at a traffic light? Um, I don't believe in that at all. Both Laren 
and Noah remained composed throughout their conversation, but one could feel the frustration as Noah took issue with Laren's comparison of Black Lives Matter to the KKK. You realize Black Lives Matter can't be the new KKK, the KKK is still around. They have not vacated their premises, and most importantly, to say Black Lives Matter is the new KKK is to, like, to really, really minimize what the KKK did and what they stand for. That is not the same thing. You Surely you understand the incendiary like, feeling of your comments. You know that, surely. The conversation turned to Kaepernick, and after Laren explained why the American flag is important to her, she took issue with people getting upset for her expressing her views. To disrespect our flag and our anthem in that way and not be your outlet to get out whatever aggression you have, whether it be passive or active aggression, I disagree with it. And so he has every right to do it. That's his First Amendment rights, and I agree with his First Amendment right to do it. I don't agree with what he did. So because I don't agree with what he did, then now I should shut up? Because I'm white, so I should shut up? The entire conversation lasted nearly 30 minutes, but had to be cut down for time to fit within the show's broadcast. The full interview can be viewed on... So as y'all can see, you can see this dumb bitch once again with her uneducated ass. Um, so once again, her dumb ass was dukened. Um, she was trying to compare the KKK with Black Lives Matter. As you can see in her tweet, it says, meet the new KKK that call themselves Black Lives Matter, but make no mistakes, their goals are far from equality. Hashtag Dallas, hashtag Blue Lives Matter. And it's funny, you know, the bitch only said that because these police officers got their ass killed during the Black Lives Matter rally. You know, which I believe it was planned, like I said, by the government that I said in the old video, I believe that it was planned by the government. I don't believe Black Lives Matter would actually shoot police officers. I don't think they'll be that bold. And plus, on top of that, they use sniper shooters. So what black person uses a sniper shooter? Please tell me. Anyways, guys, that is it for this video. Um, please like, comment and subscribe and tell me how you feel below in the comments about miss nazi barbie <laughs> and i will see you in the next one